kiss my When you see this logo, probably going to be a good movie. What are you about to see is true. It happened in Brooklyn, New York on August 22nd, 1972. Ah, okay. So it's based on a true story. Wait, so what happened in 72 and this movie came out in 75. They didn't waste too much time. America will never be as ghetto as the 70s and 80s. Passenger car, 50 cents. It's like a documentary almost. Showing you what life was like back in the day. In the 70s. Where the bell bottoms at. Whoa, look at that. I have ghetto. Dog day afternoon. You the manager? It, it looks... Well, just keep talking. Ooh, I love bank robbery movies. The tension is like through the roof. <laughs> okay. I can't do it, Sonny. What? I oh, don't tell me he's gonna leave. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Let him out. I wonder if you'll still get in trouble. Sorry, Sonny. Don't take the car. But how do I get home? Catch a bus. Take the subway. We need the car. Or Stevie, subway. The keys. He's probably the one that called the cops. Sonny, there's a girl under that desk over there. Oh, he helped him. Hey, come on, come on. Great. In the back. Hey, prison's Leia. Listen, no one's gonna hurt you. Now, Mostly women. Put it back. Put it back here. Just he spray painted the cameras. Shh. Not they already recorded his face. Here we go. I'm a Catholic and I don't want to hurt anybody, you understand? <laughs> so, no alarms. He's handling himself pretty Where's well. Sort of. Why her? A plastic bag. It might rip. That's all there is. What? What are you talking about? They picked it up this afternoon. This oh, afternoon. man. Telling you the truth. <laughs> That's why you need somebody on the inside. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. This there was this guy who was uh, an associate of, the, of Suge Knight. He went to prison for a bank robbery. He had a girl on the inside. So she ordered twice the amount of money that they normally order. And that's when he went to rob the bank. So the FBI looked at that like, why would you order twice the amount of money that they normally order on that day? And that's the day they got robbed. So, of course, they interrogated her, scared the hell out of her, and she ratted him out. So maybe if she wouldn't have got greedy or he got greedy, they would have got away with it. Look, I worked in a bank. I know the alarms. Right? Don't ah, no See, wonder. You take one of these. You go like this. In here. And out it comes. You could watch your language, you know. What? I speak what I feel, you know? You know what? He kind of sounds like Scarface. You'd have to find out. Minus the accent. Travelers checks. All right. Looks like we got a couple of goofs. Or, um, movie mistakes. According to IMDB, when Sergeant Moretti and Sonny are negotiating for the cops to bring pizzas, soft drinks, and aspirin, Moretti is holding a bullhorn in his right hand. In the next shot, he's gesturing with his empty right hand. Then the bullhorn is back in his right hand again. We'll see. 24 minutes into the film, when Sonny and the bank manager are moving the desk, you can see a wireless microphone body pack. Transmitter underneath, manager's shirt back. On the right, just above his belt. Who's that? It's oh, the insurance oh. guy from across the street. He probably saw the smoke. Here he comes. Please put out the fire. Howard. Don't have a heart attack. This Where's movie was released on Christmas, 1975. I don't know why. It's not exactly a Christmas movie. The budget was 1.8 million and grossed 50 million in the United States. Listen, I, uh, I forgot she's in there. It's not her fault. You know, she's always pulling this. She's supposed to have 10 minutes. She takes 50. Shut up! Come on! Let's go. <laughs> Nobody goes to the bathroom. Let's go. Oh my God. What? 
telephone call. Uh, for you. Oh, man. Police. This is Detective Sergeant Eugene Moretti, that's all. Jesus. How the hell did they find out? Who's Jenny here? That's me. Ah, oh, Princess Leia. You got a husband? A oh, fucking comedy. WNEW plays all the hits. Listen, not hang up. <laughs> First off, is anybody hurt? Me? He said he wants to know what time you'll be through. Wow. He's just worried about his dinner. Now stay cool. What's the matter with him? Oh, man. He's got asthma. Oh, this is where they move the, the the desk. Supposedly, you can see a mic. When they shoot a married woman, especially if she got kids. I don't see no mic. Big ass yeah, camera. Something like yes. Ghostbusters. Only the real ones will recognize that little melody. What if he's faking it? Hey, don't fire! Don't fire! What are you don't doing? Get away from the dog! Don't fire! Don't fire! Don't fire! Oh, man. Because he's black. Damn. Damn, that's messed up. Surrounded. Over there, right. We got everything here, okay? Damn. One wrong move. And that's your ass. Look, you got taking pictures over there. Kiss me, yeah. What? Kiss me. When I'm being <laughs> fucked, I like to get kissed hey, a come lot. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> You're a city cop, right? What's get he the doing? Get the fuck back there! Get huh? back there! What's what he doing? Look at him with him! Get over there! Go I like this guy. Attica! 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 Now I get where this came from. I didn't understand. In the movie Naked Gun, I think the third one or something, Leslie Nielsen's like getting uh, dragged away and he's screaming, Attica, Attica. Now I understand. Attica was a messed up situation, man. People are on his side. Why am I doing it? Yes. Doing what? You expect to be paid? What the hell is she doing in the back? I don't want to be paid. I don't need to be paid. Look, have you ever been to prison? No. No. Well, let's talk about something you fucking know about, okay? How did you make the <laughs> Oh, this guy. Temporarily interrupted. Please stand by. We he looks tired as hell. Kill them all. Now, take your bayonet and jam it into the... Oh, how was that? Is there any special country you want to go to? Wyoming. <laughs> Wyoming? No, Wyoming. This not a country. <laughs> yeah! America loves its outlaws. The hell is he gonna do? Oh, what? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, no, 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 he's, he's one of the Spanish kids. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was gonna punch him. Are you doing anything to any of those girls in there? He's back. <laughs> These fucking ladies, they don't give a damn. No, 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 don't, don't, sir. Oh, <laughs> what? Everybody's scattering. Do it. Do it. We have what were they doing thing. back there? That's I what I'm doing. You can't answer me. You can't answer me. What? You can't answer me. Oh, no way. He's going to kill money. Oh, what? He does it? A regular Robin Hood. I will fucking stop! 
Oh, they got the, the jet for real. I thought he was lying. Just pick her up and hold her. <laughs> what She'll the hell is she doing? So you rob a bank, but you keep your body pure. Is that <laughs> it? Looks like Edward Scissorhands. Did I give you a shot down the hospital or something? Who told me that I was a woman trapped in a man's body? <laughs> the guy in the back left. Our coverage of the Brooklyn robbery, where two homosexuals are holding hostages for their demands of a helicopter. Two homosexuals. <laughs> you know the guy who kills me? I hope he does it because he hates my guts. And of course, it's his job. Whoa. Good line. You just sit quiet. We'll handle Sal. What? You think I sell him out, you fuck? What's the matter? <laughs> Somebody get a glass of water. Another one. They poisoned the pizza. It's oh. not the pizza. You've got diabetes. <laughs> no, no, please. You know, they walk around. They, they got masks on. They got th the things on their heads. There were a bunch of crazy people there. Well, he would hate 2021. He's going to dump my body in the Nancy, river. will you just shut up? I, mean, I was scared of you. Nancy. I was scared. Will you shut the fuck up and listen to me? <laughs> just listen to me. You see? You see that? See? You hurt me. You know that? Can you imagine? Man, hang up on her. There you go. That the limo? This is Agent Murphy. He'll be your driver. No, I want him. You can meet a black guy. No, hey, man. I the black guy. <laughs> Come on, nobody's going to hurt you. You may shoot, aim for white meat. <laughs> <laughs> what? Give me him. You think you're dealing with a fucking idiot? Take a walk, cop! Oh, shit. He's a cop. How do you know? That's a good tactic. In case they try to shoot, they don't have a clear line of sight. Fucking okay, New York was a sick-ass place in the 70s. Sal? What? Ready to go? Yeah. He don't look like it. We don't want any accidents at this point, right? You keep your gun pointed up. Don't do it, Sal. You ready to get out first? I'm ready. Damn. Don't shoot me. Right in the forehead. I think the actual Sal got hit in the torso. That's what I read. Now that's an ending for you. Damn. From 1 to 10, I'm going to give this movie here a solid... <laughs> 10. Masterpiece, man. From beginning to the end. Hell yeah. Uh, Quentin Tarantino said recently in a Joe Rogan podcast... That he didn't like movies from the 80s because everybody in the, uh, movies from the 80s was likable. They wrote characters just for everyone to like. But in the 70s, they didn't do that. They didn't care. This is a good example. Even though it's based on a true story, you know, you find yourself rooting for the bad guy. So I guess he's right. I like these old school 70s movies, man. They're real, what they call gritty, realistic. They don't make them like this anymore. Al Pacino, I want to say he's a good actor, but to me, he just plays the same character all the time. Which is a good character, though, but he was good, though. Yeah, I like the editing. You know, for an, for an old school movie from the 70s, the editing was real good. Especially when they, when they start shooting and everybody's scattering and everything. Yeah, I like, I like what they did right there. I know that they didn't use a lot of music. It hardly has a score. To me, that makes it seem even more realistic. Definitely recommend it. Thanks for watching. Check out one of my audiobooks, ebooks, paperbacks, or just donate to an app to support this channel. Link down below.